Hey guys, it's Multiplier here. We're with Plugin Boutique. And in this video, I'm going to show you auto theory. What this does is allow someone like me who can't play the piano and who doesn't know music theory to play in a particular scale. And on top of that, it also allows you to play chords and also play multiple instruments at the same time. It's fantastic. Let me show you how it works. The notes on the left half of the keyboard generate chords. Notice each single note is generating a chord, a triad. In fact, if you look at the keyboard in auto theory, you can see what notes are being generated. And you can, of course, play in different octaves too. So the keys on the left half of the keyboard generate the chords, but then the keys on the right side of the keyboard generate the melody. But in particular, notice as I'm playing notes here with my right hand, notice how my fingers are staying over the same three keys all the time. But as I change chords, those notes under those three fingers are changing to match the chord. And you can further see this change on the right hand side keyboard in auto theory. As I change chord, the notes under the melody side change. And naturally, I could say change the scale to G major. Now, those chords were called triads. You can also choose different types of chords, such as sevenths. And in the chord editor bit, you can even learn what a seventh is. You can see it's a one, three, five, seven chord compared to the triad one, three, five. And now one of my favorite features about the chord generator is the strum. What this does is take the notes from the chord and play them sequentially, say randomly. And if I say decrease the duration, And again. You can hear how each note in the chord is now slightly offset. Furthermore, I should also point out that the other keys on the right hand side beyond those main three are also in the right scale. Looking at the melody keyboard in auto theory on the right hand side, you can see this. Therefore, it's impossible to hit the wrong note. And now here's where it gets even more interesting. You can almost like create layers almost. I mean, that's how I visualize it. You can create layered bits of MIDI using the multiple MIDI outputs. For example, I could add in an additional chord layer, but more specifically, just the root note from the chord by clicking here and then root it into a different instrument using the different MIDI channels. But I'll keep things simple for this video and root it into the same instrument. So auto theory one channel one. No change, but that's because I've currently got it layered at the same octave as the original chord. So I will move that root note down an octave. And now listen to this. Also, take a look at the keyboard in auto theory to see what notes you're hearing. And 
and you can even choose more interesting chords such as maybe this one. See how possible it is for someone who doesn't know music theory like me to create interesting chords in a particular scale. I'll do one more example just for fun and that'll be say A major. And there you have it. That's been a look at Auto Theory. I've been Multiplier. Thanks for watching. Thank you.